All right, folks, welcome to the webinar. It's Friday, Feb 22nd. And uh, Baidu has reported well. You can see he's ready to jump, but we won't be able to take a trade today because of the uh, volatility crush. But we have a few stocks, even uh, Nvidia is uh, jumping about a couple of dollars, uh, Google jumping four dollars and uh, Boeing again. Boeing is strong once again. Now, good, the good thing about Boeing is if you see the charts yesterday, it hit a high of about uh, 422. And so it would uh, be uh, natural that it wants to try to get that, uh, you know, uh, uh, try to get back to that level. OK, Toss News says Baidu has dropped 50 percent profit and expects weaker growth as Chinese economy slows. That's possible. But at least from this particular earnings event, uh, it has beaten you know, consensus. So uh, has dropped 50 percent profit from when, though, you know, that uh, um, uh, that's the question. So the way these earnings report works is uh, there is a consensus between analysts and if it beats the consensus, then the stock will go higher. Now, granted, over a you know year on year, something like that, it might might have dropped fifty percent. Uh, that that might be so, but that that information is already incorporated into the stock price. So, if you go to Baidu, for example, let me just give a quick example, uh, Baidu, and if we go to a one year daily chart here. If you go to a one year daily chart, you can see it's coming coming down from 230, 240, maybe even more than that. Yeah, so here, look at this. I mean, this is what, uh, 284. OK, it's coming down from 284. So all that, you know, drop 50 percent. All of that is already built into the stock price already. So at this point, what matters is what was the consensus and did it beat it or not? And that's what will drive the stock price higher or lower from here. So uh, that's what we have to keep in mind. So here Baidu is willing to jump, but we won't be able to take a trade on Baidu today. So I'm going to put it back on Netflix because these are the two Boeing, Netflix and Google are the three I think that are uh, you know going to jump uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to take away the monitor screen here and I'll keep it here because uh, then let's just uh, uh, you know wait for the markets to open. So in terms of being ready, I would say um, perhaps Netflix or Boeing. Boeing generally tends to move a little bit more slower, whereas Netflix can, you know, jump out of the gate and uh, make some moves. So I will put Netflix here. And um, now, once again, we are faced with uh, a Friday expiry here. So if we were to go into today's expiry, what we would want to do is uh, uh, do a quick, um, you know, quick, uh, a very close to add the money, not really add the money. This is a 50 delta. And so 356 is going to open at 360. OK, that's a four dollar move there. And so we might want to go into this 35 Delta right here. OK, so I'm, I'm going to keep this ready and it will be a small trade. As you can see, it's 67, 70 cents. Of course, that might change a little bit. But uh, basically, we are looking at the 362.5 call on Netflix. That would uh, that would probably be the uh, be the good trade. Anyway, things are about to start. So I'll just move this away for now. Uh, this has jumped to 1.5. So this will become a $750 trade. OK, 1.31. So we are uh, one. Uh, so that is uh, it's uh, it's almost a 30 percent gain, 25 percent gain right now. OK, that's 50 percent, folks, 375. If it can uh, do that, uh, let me get ready with uh, two closing two contracts at least. I mean, it's 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 better to take these profits uh, even OK, sold it at two. So let's just see what happened there. So we booked. Um, uh, yeah, so it's a, a 321 open is 183. So we booked about one hundred and fifty dollars. OK, so Kevin here says I took off half position early at two point oh eight in the live account. OK, two point oh eight one point nine three. I'll take it one point nine three. I'm taking it. OK, all right. Sold at one point nine three. So we are out on Netflix 325. So that's about a 45, uh, 42, 45 percent, 44% return. That's awesome. Uh, now let's focus. I'm going to take away this and let's focus on. Uh, OK, yeah, I wanted to show something. So if you come to analyze and say Netflix, right? So um, here what you can do is see this option, this 362.5. What you can do is you go to more info on that option, OK? More info on that option. And if you do, uh, I believe it's a toss chart. I believe it's a toss chart. If you do a toss chart, 
or is it a quick chart? No, it's not a quick chart. It's a toss chart. If you do a toss chart, no, that's not it. No, let me unlink this first. Okay. Analyze. If you do this, more info, and you do a toss chart, and you do the first one right there. Okay. So this is the, and this is what, a three month daily. Okay. So I'm going to put this into a five day, five minute and zero in here. Okay. So here you can see the actual trades that happened on this particular option. Okay. So what I have here is this call option right there. And you can see there was one trade at 2.19, 2.19. Okay. That is the highest for this particular option. Okay. So um, even though it might not show on your systems, there are trades being executed uh, that are uh, outside of the price that you might see. And uh, that's because of market maker systems uh, taking trades, accepting trades. Uh, and uh, it's sort of like an arbitrage opportunity. So this happens all the time. So, uh, you know, I've noticed that uh, these prices, you would never see a 2.2 on your chart. Uh, I mean, on the on the option prices, you would have never. But there is obviously a trade has happened at 2.2. Okay. So anyway, that was just a little bit there. Uh, here we are on uh, the on the monitor screen. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Setting a limit price to sell can help you get filled. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Prices change too fast for us to see. And my point was. There are prices that are that are being executed that you don't even see. OK, uh, so that happens all the time because things are moving so fast that those prices don't even have the time to come up on the screen. It's just an instant uh, trade and it goes away and that price goes away. And so there are things happening that you don't even see. Anyway, so let's get back to our charts. All right. Things looking pretty bullish. I'm waiting for Boeing to. Uh, Take a little dip, perhaps. Here you can see. Look at this price action. Very bullish for Boeing. Goes up on high volume, comes down on low volume, goes up on higher volume, and going up on higher volume. That is uh, that is absolutely brilliant for Boeing. But if we if we can just uh, have it come down a little bit, then uh, perhaps we can do a trade. Now, okay. Let, anyway, let's see what else is happening. Uh, Amazon is up eight. Boeing is up three point six. That's already a high level. So. You know, at this point, you don't want to get into Boeing because 3.66. And if you see that, um, that's almost 1% move right there. And so the upside beyond that is, is possible, but it's it's somewhat limited. So you want it to come down at least to the 420 level before taking a trade, if at all. So I would want to wait for that. NVIDIA is up $3 and Alibaba is up 2 And let's see where uh, our, our man is. Baidu, Baidu looks like it might be going down. Yeah, Baidu is down 2.99. Okay, Baidu is down 2.99. So it's the forward, uh, it's the forward outlook that I think is uh, is beating down on the shares because the er earnings report itself seems to have beaten the consensus. Uh, FedEx is down five dollars. My goodness, I don't know if it reported, but FedEx is down five dollars. So here we have the ES going up. I'm thinking which one to put here, Salesforce, Microsoft, none of these, Boeing 3.5, Amazon, okay, Amazon, Amazon, yeah, I think Amazon is a good one. So at least for now, we'll take Boeing off because it's already at a high level. And uh, the, the uh, okay, look at this. This might be an opportunity coming up on Amazon, okay? And uh, let's, let's, let's put a small trade on Amazon, I think. It's not a bad idea. So here we are, let's say a 37 delta, no, 37 delta, yeah, 30, uh, 36 delta, 36 delta is uh, 16. Okay, we have more open interest at this point here. So, and given that it is a today's expiry, I would say let's go for a 43 delta. Okay, 440, 435, all right, I'm getting in at 435. So this is the 1630 call today's expiry. We are in and let's see here. What did we do? 
5.27. Normally, I would have tried to peel off one. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the whole thing off at, uh, when, when, uh, when the time is right. I think it has the potential to go higher on this bar. 5.47. That's about a 25% return from 4.4. Okay, so 5.45. All right, folks, I'm taking it. Uh, I'm taking it. 5.3. All right, I'm also taking it at 5.3, folks. Okay, got it. Uh, I got a slightly higher price. That's uh, okay. So 440 to 5.3 would be, um, yeah, about a 20, 22%, something like that. Maybe a small trade on Boeing, okay, because it's not a bad time to enter 420.6. Let's see here. So the only thing that would make sense is, uh, say, a five contract on 422.5. Very small trade. It's okay if it doesn't work. Um, you know, this is this would be a $330 trade. Okay, so 70 here, I would say 68, so 300, uh, $340 trade. So I'm talking about the 422.5 call, okay? Got in at 68, so we are in on Boeing, 34, 68, yeah. This is, uh, this is over 25%, folks, on uh, Boeing. Let's see where it is. It's at 80, 90. So we sold it, I mean, we bought it at 68, and this is 90. So obviously on a trade like this, for it to make sense in an absolute level, perhaps we could have gone in for a 10 contract position here, okay? Uh, that would make it a little bit more meaningful because, you know, yes, we have a nice profit here. Uh, let's see, it's a going on 92. We should get filled and get a better price than 90. Okay, yeah, we got 94. That's what we would expect. So on a, on a, on a trade like this, we could have gone 10 contracts. The only thing I didn't do it uh, because it's expiring today. Okay, folks, I uh, also just wanted to uh, mention thank you very much for all the emails that have come in. I think a lot of people have uh, uh, questions and uh, everything, and uh, I will be replying to everybody over the weekend. But uh, it's very nice to know that uh, the, some people have uh, just in Feb, they've made uh, you know almost uh, 2000 or $3,000. So that's all very good. And uh, some people haven't had that, uh, that kind of uh, uh, success yet. And that's probably because you're just honing in some of these tactics and techniques for day trading so just hang in there and uh, you know the it's the art of uh, fine tuning the uh, the entry and the exits the, the the thing to understand is you know if you if you're in a good trade uh, it may not last for very long and so it's always good to take profits when you can but hang in there but uh, some very good performances that's uh, that's excellent so if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this bit.ly link. It's bit.ly uh, slash day hyphen signals. Now the day and the, uh, the D and the S has to be capitals. And once you go there, you can get a free trial. You can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial. And uh, at the end of one week, if you don't want to continue, you can just send us an email at info at option tiger.com and we'll give you a full refund. So once again, the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals with the DNS in caps. Thank you.